Our topic is maintenance of personal and public hygienic in human health and disease. So each and every person has a concern about the personal hygienic and the public hygiene. So now it is a corona season. Our government has instructed to maintain a hygienic personally as well as publicly. Wash your hands to get rid of from the coronavirus. Okay. So what they insist to wash your hands properly and you have to keep your, keep your surroundings clean. So, so our topic also deals with the maintenance of personal and public hygienic. Hygienic is a set of practices performed to conserve good health. Hygienic means why we are talking about this hygienic means to maintain the good health. For maintaining the good health, you have to practice some of the things. For example, to get rid of from coronavirus. What you have to do? You have to wash your hands. You have to bath your bath and you have to keep the surroundings clean. You itself. Okay. So, according to the World Health Organization, WHO, hygiene refers to the condition and practices that helps to maintain health and prevent the spread of disease. So, World Health Organization had said that is hygiene means the conditions. So, there are some conditions to keep our body clean, no? By washing, the, by washing the with the soap, okay? And keeping the, that is keeping the uh, surroundings with the disinfectants, okay? By uh, disinfectants, that and all. So, that is the conditions had given by the WHO and we have to practice it to maintain the good health. If you maintain a good health, then you can able to prevent the Disease spreading. Okay. Personal hygiene refers to maintaining one's body clean by bathing, washing hands, trimming fingernails, wearing clean clothes and also includes attention to keep the surface in the home and the workplace including toilets, bathroom facilities clean and pathogen free. So personal hygiene means what means? To keep your body clean. How you keep your body clean? By take bath and wash your hands before and after eating food. And the nails. So the nails in your finger. You have to cut the fingernails. And that is fingernails not. Like you have to trim the nails in the in your fingers. And you, you can you have to wear clean clothes. Okay. And by maintaining these. The personal hygienic will maintain and same as well as you have to maintain the clean atmosphere in your home as well as in your workplace. So by this, by, the, by maintaining the clean atmosphere in the home and workplace that is the toilets, toilet facility should be clean. Uh, if it is clean means the pathogen won't leave there. Okay. So the pathogen free atmosphere you can able to provide to all. So, these are, that is, stop microbes, use good hygienic. So, these are the steps you can follow. So, by brushing the teeth, washing your hands, taking bath and everything here they had provided and putting the, uh, that is, dust in the dustbin, cleaning the dust. So, this, in the, this, is the, this is the proper way to stop microbes and you can use the good hygienic, that is, while, good, while using the good hygienic, what will be stopped? The microbes won't spread the disease. The microbes won't leave. Okay. The pathogenic microbes won't leave in the atmosphere. Okay. And this is for public hygienic. So, this is a public hygienic. It is not a public hygienic. It is in the home only. So, like this only the public people that is the public uh, um, person that is so they, who are uh, involved in this department. They are cleaning the roads. Everything. No. So, the hygienic. Because to maintain the entire hygienic in the public places. Okay. So our public places teem with infection, contamination and germs. So our public places we have to keep them clean. 
so because so many people are using the public toilets in a railway stations bus stands uh, uh, theaters etc no so there is a cause of infection and contamination and germs so it seems that every surface we touch and the air we breathe or with pollutants and microbes so due to that that is the infection and what are taking place that is the each and every surface is not clean okay it is a vast area to clean okay so what we can we have we, we are touching every surfaces so and the germs were sticking to our hands okay and we breathe the polluted air only we are breath breathing through that microbes are entering into it so it is not it's not just the public places that are unclean but we might be amazed at the number of people who are not that is who do not wash their hands before taking food after visiting the restroom or who sneeze without covering their faces so that is the public places only is the site of in, is not only the site of in, infection but there are some of the people they won't wash their hands before taking food and after visiting the uh, restroom also they won't wash their hands so while sneezing they won't cover their uh, face so like this like this also the uh, germs can transmit okay many infectious disease such as typhoid amebiosis ascariasis are transmitted through the contaminated food and water if the food and water is contaminated such disease like typhoid amebiosis and ascariasis are transmitted easily advancement in science and technology provide effective controlling measures to maintain infectious and non infectious disease so the science had developed so much <coughs> with the, the science and technology have developed so much with many that is infectious and non infectious disease and for this the usage of vaccines and we have adapted so many immunization programs also and in the, in india the smallpox is eradicated fully through the usage of vaccines and the immunization programs moreover large number of infectious disease like polio diphtheria pneumonia tetanus have been controlled by the usage of vaccines and by creating awareness among the people so the polio our government has a putting polio for the child no at the maybe in the march that is this um, december or in the jan or february they are putting in dosages okay and uh, uh, regular intervals they are putting till 5 years to eradicate the polio and even diphtheria pneumonia and tetanus also they had been controlled usage of vaccines so and you have to create awareness so awareness can be taken place through the uh, tvs through the media and through the phones also you are the messages so the messaging uh, through this uh, to create the awareness to the people the people about the infectious disease what now the the period is the corona period how you got uh, awareness how it is how it is spreading how what are the prevention preventive measures you have to take and what the government has taken during this season this uh, corona period you all know that is uh, that can also you can write here okay in your own words so you will get marks hope you understand the topic if you have any doubts post your doubts in the comment box i had given the tamil link of the this topic if you want to go and watch it if you like the video give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel